It's March 2022 and the Sandhill Cranes are back in Nebraska for their annual spring migration. This is not only the largest migration of cranes in North America, this is the largest migration of cranes in the world. Nebraska has countless opportunities to view wildlife, but there is nothing like the Sandhill Cranes. For the 14th straight year, I make my own migration to central Nebraska to view, enjoy, and to photograph the Sandhill Cranes. Since my first visit in 2009, I've learned so much about Nebraska's Platte River Valley and the Sandhill Cranes. I've never been able to figure out what draws me back each spring, whether it's the birds, the environment, just the fun of the trip. But when the calendar rolls over to a new year, I start looking forward to booking my trip for that spring's Sandhill Crane photography trip. This is the story of my 2022 Sandhill Crane photography trip. Hi everyone, welcome to my 2022 Sandhill Crane photography trip. Today I'm out here uh, in one of my favorite spots where I tend to photograph a lot of cranes. Unfortunately, there are none in the grass behind me right now, but all the fields around here are completely full. So uh, it's just a matter of time, I'm sure, before they move into the grass. I'm not going to spend a ton of time here right now. Uh, I need to get to the campground and set my tent up. Uh, it's supposed to start raining pretty soon and once it starts raining this afternoon it's supposed to rain all the way till about 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. Hopefully it stays raining and we don't wake up to a uh, fresh blanket of snow in the morning. Snow would be awesome for photos but <laughs> it wouldn't be as fun getting up in it so we'll see what happens but for now I'm uh, taking the gravel roads probably about two-thirds of the way across uh, you know, the valley where the cranes are, the central Platte River Valley here. Uh, I'm going to keep working my way towards the campground, get that tent set up, and then uh, got to be to the bird blind about 5.45, and I will be in a uh, group uh, viewing blind tonight from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. So hopefully the forecast is completely wrong and we get a great sunset. But if not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be in the blind either way, so we'll get there and see what happens with the birds and make the most of it. It's just always great getting out here and uh, enjoying the cranes. So uh, no matter what the weather holds, it's going to be a fun, fun weekend. So looking forward to it. I finished taking the gravel roads on the way to the campground, pulling over occasionally to take photos. When I arrived at the campground, I was happy to find out that the campground was mostly empty. This would not be the case at the end of the weekend. I picked the exact same campsites we had last year. The benefit of these campsites is they are near the exit, so when we wake up early in the morning to go photograph the cranes, we do not disturb the other campers. Just what everyone wanted, a time lapse of me putting up my tent. Seriously though, this is the longest it's ever taken me to put up this tent because of the wind. After reserving a camping spot for Josh and Amy, as well as myself, and then putting up my tent, it was time to get back on the road and start heading towards the Row Sanctuary for my evening photo blind tour. Okay, got the tent all set up. That was the windiest I've ever put the tent up in. Uh, good thing on the way out here I stopped and bought some extra large tent stakes to really get that thing sucked down to the ground. So hopefully it's still there uh, when I get back. I'm sure it is because I weighted it down too. Uh, now I'm just getting ready to go to the uh, bird blind at Rose Sanctuary. The blinds are actually right behind those trees over there. And then the office is a little further down. So go check out the office and then as a group we'll all walk out to the blinds. Um, it's just now starting to rain. It was supposed to start raining an hour and a half ago. So just now starting to get rain. It could be an interesting night. We'll see what happens. Um, I got to be there in 15 minutes and then we'll probably use, usually you watch a video. They kind of uh, talk to you for a little bit and then you hike as a group out to the blind. And then you probably have half hour, 45 minutes till the birds actually start coming in. So uh, I'm going to take a few videos. I won't be able to talk in there, but maybe I'll just take a few videos, kind of show you what what goes on in the blind and then uh, catch up with you afterwards. So off to the bird sanctuary. The viewing blinds at Rose Sanctuary certainly have changed over the last 14 years. On my first trip, they were nothing more than a wooden shed sitting on a dirt floor. Now they have carpet, finished wood walls, and they even have a warming room off to the side where people can go warm up if they get too cold while viewing the cranes.
Here on the right, you can see one of our three guides that night. She was from Sacramento. The other two were from Florida. The Rose Sanctuary pulls in guides from all over North America. Later on in the trip, we had a guide from New Jersey and a guide from Toronto. This night in the blind didn't go exactly as planned. The birds came in really late, long after dark. I was barely able to make a few photos of them way off in the distance. And then it was time to stop taking photos for the evening due to the row sanctuary rules. When the birds finally did land, they landed way upstream. And then they walked towards us, which I've never seen before. Usually they land pretty close to where they're going to roost for the night. It doesn't bother me that I didn't get any photos that night and that they did not land near us. I was happy with some of my photos earlier in the day, including this one here of a close liftoff. Something about the organized chaos of a liftoff where all the cranes take off in the same direction kind of intrigued me. The weather on day one wasn't the best, but the forecast for the rest of the weekend was looking good. Stay tuned to the rest of my trip.